Intel has officially revealed their Enthusiast CPU line's release date, as well as a possible date for Threadripper, and there's new rumors on NVIDIA's mining GPUs. So stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome back to GamerMeld. Intel has officially given us launch dates for their Core X series of CPUs, and it's pretty much what we expected. The 4 core through 10 core CPUs will be released on June 26, with pre-orders set to begin on June 19th. The 12 core CPU, you know, the highest Intel clearly planned to make this series, is set to launch in August, and the 14 through 18 core enthusiast CPUs are planned for release in October. I'll definitely admit that it still certainly seems they just threw this idea together to make it look like they planned on it all along. I think it's pretty clear they're just pulling down some of their current Xeon CPUs and fitting them into the X299 platform. Either way, the competition is certainly what we wanted, so I'm okay with it, minus the fact that they're just throwing this together just to try and say that they won up to AMD. Okay, okay, I obviously have no way of knowing that for sure, but it certainly seems at least that that's what they did. The only thing I'm really not sure about is where they plan on going if the rumors of AMD's Threadripper pricing hold true. Hell, even if it fits into a $1,200 price point, I don't see how Intel can justify $1,700 for their 16 core, and they certainly do seem to be holding on to that price point. Oh well, I guess. We're just going to have to let the markets decide. Speaking of Threadripper, there's a new rumor going around concerning its final release date. According to Kit Guru, they've gotten word from their sources that Ryzen Threadripper is set to launch around August 10th because they were forced to push back the date from a late July release. Neither of these claims have been confirmed by AMD, but I don't think they're out of the realm of possibility since we haven't really gotten any word on a release yet and, had it been soon, I have no doubt AMD would have probably announced that at their Computex event. Either way, it does kind of seem to be a little bit far off, but I guess it's not too, too bad. At least it's not October. Lastly, while it's not related to gaming, I know there's many of you that are curious about it and we have a good deal of rumors about the almost certain at this point mining GPUs. For starters, we're hearing a good bit more news on Nvidia's offerings. First, it seems they won't be calling it GTX, which is understandable, but are instead rumored to be named after the processor. It also looks like board partners are jumping on the new mining GPUs since we're getting some images leaked of some of the players, MSI, Colorful, and ASUS. According to WCCF Tech, the cards will be fine-tuned to work much better with mining much more efficiently and offer higher hashes. They're predicting a launch of June 19th, so we should find out soon enough. WCCF Tech also showed a ton of pricing like the 1080 version running around the $350 price, but I'm not sure where they're getting this information, so I'd take it with a grain of salt, though the pricing and timing don't sound to be too far off. So while I know that was a really short video for today, don't forget to check out the GamerMail Discord server. People are really awesome and it's pretty much Tech Talk 24-7, so who can ask for more? Also, what do you think of AMD's upcoming Threadripper or Intel's Core X series? And what about those mining GPUs? Let me know in the comments below. That does it for now. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the round icon in the middle. You can check out the most recent video and suggested video to the left. Thanks so much for coming, and as always, have a great day.